Hey, my name is Bobby Lee and welcome to Talking. Here we go. <laughs> you weren't kidding, huh? <laughs> Today's guest is a very good friend of mine, Moshe Kasher. Okay. And um, Moshe is a very, very funny stand-up comic. He's had a Comedy Central Presents couple no. of No! He was also on Fallon yes. Live, yes. right? Yes, Fallon Live. And he has a book coming out called Casher in the Rye. Casher in the Rye. And it's like Catcher in the Rye, but you put your last name and fing, fing. Yeah, you got it. You got the connection we did. You yeah, know what I mean? and then and we dock, go, we, touched, we touched dicks. No, that's not me touching your dick. No, well, this is more uh, representative of you, so it would be like this, I guess. This would be us docking. Okay, that's, well. Anyway, um, Moshe is from the Bay Area. Yeah. What's up? What's up? What, where, where park? I'm from Oakland, California. That's don't right. I look, don't I read Oakland? Yeah. Do I read Oakland? <laughs> yeah. To the viewers at yeah. home. You read Arcade Fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You actually, I have, a, like, whenever I, when I first met you, you know what I mean, well, I was aware of you. There was, a, there was an intimidation, I'll be honest. I felt intimidated by you too, Bobby, when I first saw you around because I fought in the Korean War. So whenever I saw you, it would just fuck with me. Um, I don't know if you know how old I am. How old are you, Bobby? Now, your parents, um, I don't know if people know this, but his parents, what do you call it? What? They're deaf. Yeah, they're deaf. They're super into hip hop. Is that how I said it right? Yeah, you said That's it right. That's how you say deaf? Yeah. Oh, then you made a joke, a hip hop joke? Yeah, I made a hip hop joke oh, for I my did. act. Okay. Um, so what was that like, being raised with deaf parents? Well, I don't know. You know, I never thought about it because I'm, I'm sure it's the same with your parents' disability being Korean. Like, I never thought <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh, sorry. It's not disability. Oh, you're, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. fair. That's, sorry about that. Why? Because their faces are two-dimensional? <laughs> <laughs> right? It's just flat. Yeah, yeah, Whenever yeah, your yeah, mom yeah. would be like, yeah. Bobby, and she would disappear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. They wouldn't be on coins if they were the president. <laughs> that's yeah. right. It would, it would just be like a flat wall, you know what I mean? Yeah. But would... anyway, you and I have very similar upbringings in this sense, not that we have deaf parents, but like, well, you and I were very rebellious. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? What do you, what's... With you know, all that, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> if you could combine all three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like your opening that's what, yeah, number. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. Bobby Lee's show. But that's what we did. That's what, you know, we were, we were rebellious. How old were you when you lost your virginity? I was 17. Oh, yeah. How did it happen for you? I was 15 years old, and I felt ashamed of myself that I hadn't lost my virginity yet. Yeah, I was yeah. like, dude, I'm pathetic. I'm a 15-year-old virgin. This is pathetic. Because all my friends were talking about all the pussy they'd gotten. They were all lying. In retrospect, I realized they were all lying, but I believed them all because I was like fat and kind of just, I was in But who health. was it? Who was the girl? Okay, so it was this girl. I won't say her name, but she was like, you know, the girl. You know what I mean? Yeah. The girl that everybody kind of, yeah, yeah. She was 12 years old, but her pussy gaped like a discus in the <laughs> Olympics. It was incredible. Yeah. But the problem with me was I was getting all of my um, sex lessons from um, gangster rappers, from yeah. West Coast gangster rappers. So I yeah. actually thought what you did, sex was when you, at the end, right after you come, you're like, all right, then get the fuck out. <laughs> I didn't even mean anything weird by it. Yeah, I yeah, thought yeah. that's how sex was. I thought that was the end. Did part. you wear a condom? I didn't wear a condom. Me either my first time. Well, you, you know, my know thing to. is I was on the wrestling team and I was the 98 pounder. Right? And I was at a party and there was this girl, she was like maybe two years younger, 15, and the whole wrestling team tapped her that night. Right. They didn't go from lightweight to heavyweight, they went heavyweight to lightweight. So I got, you know. Oh, it was literally like in, in weight classes who got the fuck at what point? Now what weight division was she in? She she, there, there, there's no there's no weight division to describe her. Did you give her a belt made of cum at the end of the whole thing? You're like, you're the champion. <laughs> <laughs> the next section of the show is painting time, and the medium we're gonna use is finger painting, and we're gonna finger paint something that's based on something that we talked about on the show. This is pretty exciting. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Ready to go. Okay, now it's time to reveal our, our masterpieces, and I'm going to begin. And this is, uh, this is mine. It's Moshe, and that's his big, 
And that's my little red, <laughs> my little red one. It's very angry looking. Yeah, yeah it's very angry because it, it, it's saying, God, how come you didn't give me this one? But that's true. That is how I have it. I, I hoist it over my shoulder like the guy yeah. in Jabba the Hutt's palace that was Jabba's <laughs> assistant, you know? But it doesn't come It just, I just sort of hoist it over it's my very shoulder. very funny. He has a weak mind, remember, because Luca did this. <laughs> right. And he was like, all right, you know what I mean? <laughs> what an asshole. He should have put his dick in between it because you can't get through that. All right, yeah. here's, yeah, this is, uh, my rendition of you losing your virginity. Um, it's, here is your entire wrestling team. Here's you at the end. You're the little yellow one at the very end. And then this is the girl. She's crying a little bit. She's not super happy. And it just says, come champs. Here. It's good, man. Not a big fan? I love it, man. It's a masterpiece. There's you and, I, and that, little, that little dick I knew someday would be coming towards mine. And that one day it would, we would envelop each other. Oh. So if we could put our paintings together. Together. It it's like, it tells a story. <laughs> Look at how sad she looks. <laughs> she's very sad. <laughs> you know what I mean? She's crying. Oh, that is so it's sweet. It's so sad. I want to thank Moshe Kashner for being on my show Say today. Say my name right. I want to thank Moshe Kashner yeah. for being on my show. He's a very talented young man, and I love him so much. He's a fam he's family. Love you, Bobby. Thank you for having me. Yay! Are we, are we dancing tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> Buy my book!